Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. We have the Six of Cups, the Temperance card, Page of Cups, Three of Swords, Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Devil. So just like I said, the past is coming back, okay? The past, someone from the past could be coming back because they want to try and balance the situation here. Someone definitely could be trying to make an apology to you about something that left you heartbroken in the past. Now, this could be a friend, family member, or a lover, all right? There will be a lot of different situations to come about, like I said, from the past when it comes to your soulmate relationship. Soulmates can be like friends, family, um, lovers. <laughs> it could be anyone, okay? So just keep that in mind. This right here, for some of these things, it could be because of codependency. It could be toxic. Now, that doesn't mean that someone returning from the past has not changed. You'll have to trust your own intuition about that. We'll look into it here. I see Sagittarius energy, Capricorn, and here is, for me, a water sign energy, King of Cups, usually is a Scorpio. Some of you are definitely going to have a situation to come back, though, where someone wants there to be some type of rebirth or renewal, Okay. You should only entertain this if you know for a sure fact that there's been some type of transformation, okay? There is some type of doom and gloom, dark, toxic energy, though, that is surrounding your connections, something that's trying to hold you back. This also could be some type of third-party situation. Someone could be held back from moving forward in their life um, due to a third party who they have children with. What is this six of cups, please? The hangman. Something from the past, okay? So someone from the past has pop possibly gone through some type of awakening, or this is you becoming enlightened and changing your perspective about a situation from the past. Um, yeah. The ten of cups, seven of pentacles, and the full nine of cups. This is good energy, okay? So... It's one of two things. For some of you, you have something coming back from the past. Like I said, friend, family member, lover, or whomever. And it looks like someone really may want to put their best foot forward and try and work something out with you. Okay. Um, and for some of you, you just have become clear about a situation from the past that perhaps you no longer want to work on. And at this point now, you have decided to free yourself. You have a little, a lot of good karma coming back with the Seven of Pentacles here. The Fool is you taking the leap of faith, starting something new, and then the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment for you, whatever this is. Okay. The Six of Cups to me also sometimes is like good karma coming in from like a... Um, a past on loved one, an angel, an ancestor, a guide of yours, they're coming in and after a long period of time of you going through some type of awakening, you could finally just be receiving some type of good karma. The five of wands is here. All right. So something from the past definitely um, has created some type of conflict, chaos, competition. Okay. Someone could have been trying to bully you and it looks like it forced you into a time where you decided to just take a brand new leap of faith. OK, to start completely over, to be optimistic about a brand new beginning. But you first had to go with. And so there is something that for sure pushed you on to a new path or this is you dealing with someone. And because you decided to pump the brakes on something, you stopped something, you went with it, you healed or whatever. Either you or someone that you're dealing with or both of you maybe have gone through this major, major awakening. Now, the eight of wands is here. Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of... Wow, wow. So, something really major is about to happen. And it to me, it looks good. Okay? Eight of Wands. You guys could be traveling, but you're about to receive some type of communication. Um, some type of confirmation for some of you. Something that has been moving slowly. The Sun here. The Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. This Knight of Pentacles, for some of you, this could be... Um, it could be anything. It could be like a romantic offer. It also could be some type of promotion, a raise. Okay, you could be receiving something really, really nice for Christmas for some of you if you celebrate. Okay, but I just feel that here very soon, some of you, you're going to be rewarded with something um, that's going to make you really, really happy. And I feel that a lot of people who have caused any type of chaos or conflict or blockages in your life, they're going to witness you receive a big, big blessing very soon. 
the temperance here and the two of pentacles so yeah something here is being balanced out of you've had financial difficulties i definitely see that being balanced out i just saw the five of pentacles so financial hardship lack anything like that is being balanced out for you three of wands yeah continue looking at the bigger picture here you're manifesting and your ships are truly coming in seven of cups you're going to have a lot of different options okay it could be a bit confusing at times like i said but you're needing to see the truth of a situation make sure that you are reviewing your your contracts your relationships make sure that with the the page of stores you're you're researching everything that that really comes across your table make sure that you're really digging deep into it and don't be afraid to cut something off or to make decisions quickly the knight of swords is here with the seven of swords and the ten of wands the eight of pentacles you, there is a warning here you need to be careful because something is going to come in really really quickly and you're needing to see through this illusion let's see what this illusion is so you have something coming in that's going to bring you that peace balance and harmony but i see somebody or something quickly coming in that's going to make you a little bit confused if you're not careful. What is this Seven of Cups? The Chariot. Hmm. Whatever this illusion is, it's about your forward movement. It's something that's going to trigger you to make you wonder, should you stay behind or should you move forward? I don't know, for some of you too, this is like a friend or a family member of yours. Yeah, this is someone here that's going to, yeah, okay, get ready. I, I see this. Somebody's going to come in with some type of baggage or burdens, and this is going to really make you question whether or not you should continue moving forward. I feel like a lot of you right now, um, and, and I can resonate with this myself, you need to be selfish in this season, okay? It's nothing wrong with being a giver, but for some of you where you're supposed to go, there are certain people that can't go with you. There's some type of baggage or burdens here, something I feel that you've gone through plenty of times with a particular situation or person. It's going to come in quickly, as your, right as your ships are coming in. For some of you, this could be a past lover or you know, it's just a situation and you're going to be stuck trying to figure out which way should you go. Spirit is saying you need to make sure that to be victorious in your life that you keep moving forward. Whatever this drama or this baggage is, it's not yours. So you don't need to focus on this. It's a very clear message here. Something is going to come in at the same time. of your. There's a burden that's going to try to rush in at the same time as your blessing. You need to ignore that. You need to have tunnel vision at this time. Do not let this person, place, thing, or situation stop you. This is a tactic of the enemy to, to keep you blocked. Yeah, the three of cups. You're going towards something to celebrate here. Okay. These hidden enemies are being exposed. Yeah, look, the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. See, when it comes to your overall security, your stability, you getting in alignment with what you're truly a vibrational match for, for a brand new passion and beginning, you getting where you need to be for your, your own manifestations with the Magician card here. You have all the tools and resources that you need to start something creative in your life. You need to really stand your ground with this Nine of Wands because, like I said, there is definitely something or someone, most likely from the past, or this is a situation from your childhood dealing with someone in your family um a lover from the past or something it's going to come in right while you are supposed to be moving forward do not give this any of your attention this is a very very strong and clear warning don't uh-uh don't do it somebody wants to put a monkey on your back so that you will somehow break down and not get to where you're going you're manifesting exactly what you want you're manifesting a leadership role or position at, at work. You're manifesting, you know, your, your, a higher level of just commitment to yourself. You have the tools and the resources. You've already gone through the test trials and tribulations here with the Hierophant. You can speak out now about your own testimony and it can inspire other people. You're passionate about the path that you've been on with the Ace of Wands here, the Page of Cups. So you may be working on some type of create, creative project with the Page of Cups here some type of creative expression, okay? Be mindful of the naysayers. Be mindful of, yeah, people that, that come in. That they're going to deter you from where you're going. Yeah, look, six of swords, four of cups, spirit is saying, we, I got you. Keep moving forward. 
your ancestors, your guides, your spiritual team, they're going to take you to where you need to go. Even when you feel like you're discontent and bored and you're in your head, you're not really sure exactly what's going to happen or how it's going to happen. There's about to be a, a way made out of no way on your behalf. Okay. This three of swords here, something here is, is going to work in your favor, but there is an illusion that is being painted here to evoke some type of fear in you that something is not going to work out. This is in your mind. You're needing to escape whatever this is in your mind that makes you feel like you're going to miss some type of opportunity. Like I said, something from the past that has rejected you before, abandoned you before, friend, family member, lover, or whatever it is, they're going to come in once again to try almost like poke at you. So with the hermit being here, be very mindful of, of who you allow in your space and in your energy, okay? Because the truth is, wow, the truth is, Ace of Swords, you do have wish fulfillment. There's a brand new beginning here. The Fool and the Nine of Cups. For some of you, and I, I said this a few weeks ago, for some of you, when it comes to your family, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you chose to have a staycation, stay at your own house for the holidays, or even go on a vacation, or just do something different. Some of you, you need to... Find the freedom in you doing things alone. Because I feel like a lot of people, you, you tend to hang around individuals who they don't want anything good for you. These people, they sit around and they spiritually spy and pry into your life because they want to figure out the best way to have you left out in the cold so that they can put an end to certain things. But see, these individuals, for some of you, when, when the door closes with them, another door for you will open. So you need to be very, very um, clear about your intentions of moving forward and understanding that, no, everyone cannot go with you because this is definitely just some BS here. And I feel like it's something that you guys, you go through a lot. You know, the holidays are coming up in just a few days. Some of you, you already know that friend, that family member, they do the same thing every year. You, you need to just push that out of your energy. Do not entertain it. The emperor is here. The emperor four of pentacles. The king of swords. Yeah. This emperor king of swords. Oh. Four of pentacles. Why is that four? Of, this seems like somebody here who is using some type of their own power, authority. This person is very, very detached. They want to hold you back or hold something, hold something back from you. Tell me more about this. When I see if the devil was out here, I would say this was someone, someone who was a bit narcissistic. Yeah, this is something that has held you back. But once again, justice and the fool, whatever this is, it's almost like spirit is saying it doesn't even matter because you're receiving justice. You're, you get to move away from this. So for some of you also, if it's been a situation where you've been stuck between, um, Perhaps like a, a past person and a new person or two different masculines here. Okay. Also for some of you, if you've had issues with um, like a father or father figure and this emperor for some, you know, I've noticed a lot in the readings and I try to say this more. We see the, the sex of these people on these cards, but it really, uh, he could be a she, she could be a he. This emperor could be a mother. Okay. It doesn't have to be a father, but th this for me seems like someone in your life. It could be a boss. It could be a, a parental figure or something like that. Definitely for some of you could be a boss. Someone who feels like they have some type of power and authority in your life. They try to create various strategies to keep you held back from something. You're being free from this. So for some of you, you have a boss who's just a tyrant. You know, they won't give you time off. They won't approve things for you. They're constantly adding more work to your plate. This this person here is going to receive their karma and you're going to receive yours. And for you, you're going to receive a big break. For some of you, you have a boss. That person is going to be terminated. They have no idea what's going to be coming up in their, um, in, in, I, I hear like their year end review or something like that. This person is going to be in trouble for for things that they've done because they've planted a lot of bad seeds with the seven of pentacles for some of you if this is a situation with um the, the the mother or father of your child who constantly tries to do things as far as holding back your children from you or holding back money i, I see a lot of that right here you guys you know you're going through a lot with these people in your family you know, the whoever you co-parent with or whoever you're married to, these people who try to be very cold and honestly, like I said, they just want to hold you back from things. You're going to receive justice in these situations. 
it has to be balanced out. It has to. The two of cups is here. Yeah. You're going to receive equal give and takes very soon. Some of you, you may end up for, um, you know, Christmas or New Year's. You may end up just hanging out with someone and it being just you and one other person. Okay. Some of you actually may meet a person between now and the the new year. You may just decide that whatever this situation is with work or um, family or whatever, you may just really walk away from this situation, not give your attention, and you may go out and you may meet someone randomly. Doesn't have to re be romantic, but for some of you, you really do. You need a break. You need a break because, look, the Queen of Swords is here, the Moon and the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords with the Lovers. Yeah, some of you, you have a choice to make in love or there's something new. But, uh, yeah, here's the Knight of Cups hiding back here. Yeah, that was interesting how this there. Something here, there's some type of offer that's going to come in. But the Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the High Priestess is here. You need to be very careful, you guys. Um, this is not not to be afraid, but keep your boundaries up because there is a High Priestess, most likely a dark High Priestess, someone here who is trying to watch and monitor your life and um, create illusions. Somebody is in the background. This time of year, people tend to do a lot of spell work and magic. I did readings about that last week, and I've been talking about the that wealthy person, male or female, and this dark high priestess that, you know, constantly watch and monitor your life to try and dictate and control what comes in your life and your opportunities. These people, they're still at it for some of you because they're, they're trying to get something done before the end of the year. So just be mindful of that. Okay, for some of you, this is someone that you've been married to that has teamed up possibly with some type of spiritual practitioner, witch doctor, you know, wizard, warlock or whatever to try and block you from going towards a brand new beginning with someone new. Okay. For some of you, if you have met someone that you're dating, you may want to spend the holidays with them. If you do, I would say you need to keep this information to yourself because there are people in the background for sure who are trying to create illusions. So you're going to have to be in this queen of swords energy of having boundaries up and just saying, no, no more. I'm not dealing with this. You know, like, some of you, you're going to have to stand up for yourself and just say enough is enough. The seven of swords here. There's a plot plan scheme or strategy of some sort here that's being done by this could be a reader. Like I said, some type of dark high priestess here. Someone is very adamant about blocking you from some type of connection. The lovers is here and the two of cups. The king of wands and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this is a... um. A new person or someone from your past that may want to return, but they have a person in their life that is blocking them. I feel like at this point, and I can't tell you what to do, but if you are dealing with someone that ha no matter what, like they, they're being blocked by another person. I say, let the situation go. If it comes back, it's meant for you. If it's, if it's not move on with your life, some of you, you need to start giving other people an opportunity to court you, to love you, to to be there for you. Go out and meet friends. Because whatever this situation is, it's some, someone else's karma is becoming your karma because you keep yourself energetically open for them. And this is what this, this Mercury retrograde for sure is going to bring back. These situations with people who already have karma, they are still, you know, somehow romantically invest like they, they want to invest in you romantically spiritually sexually energetically or whatever but they still have the, the cause of another person with like digging deep in them so when they come to you they bring that other person's energy with them you need to be very careful of this type of situation okay because for some of you you have a new connection that's coming into your life and you have this past person they also want to i think i said that before you have two different things coming at you at once one of them is very it, it carries a lot of karma it's it, there's karma already attached to a person and you need to be on guard with this i feel like this is a situation that you've already gone through a lot of wounding with this particular person like i said because of their lifestyle because of what they do when they're not with you because of what they're doing with someone else. For some of you, it's starting more of a story is coming out. You're dealing with someone and they may be married or separated or they have kids with someone. They're going to try to come in possibly around the holidays. And I would say, honestly, 
for many of you, it'll probably be best for you to just ignore this situation. This person is going through legal situations and all kinds of stuff with someone that they have children with. And I'm telling you, they're going to bring that mess to your doorstep. Somebody wants to escape with you, but they bring all of their karma with them. Leave them where they are. Because you have someone that wants to take action towards you to bring you a serious offer. Something that's stable and secure where you don't have to worry about this. Someone here is trying to get out of a legal situation. Like I said, I'm picking up on the workplace thing for some of you. But for some of you, someone is trying to get out of a legal situation that possibly has something to do with kids. Someone here is doing a lot of court case spells. Someone wants something to go in their favor when it comes to them receiving justice in court. And you have to be mindful of people who come towards you just because they want your healing or your energy or whatever. You have something brand new that's coming in here or you're already with someone and it's time for that situation to go to the next level. This past person for a lot of you or it could be someone currently in your life. They're coming in. Continue to work on your own security and stability. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you've mastered something for yourself. And you're continuing as above, so below. Like you've already mastered healing yourself and going towards wish fulfillment, happiness, peace, justice, and everything else for yourself. So th this, I'm telling you, this is a major test. The devil, what is the devil? This is someone who is codependent on your energy. Eight of cups, walk away from the devil. I cannot make this up. Walk away from the devil. In Capricorn season, there's something that you need to walk away from. This could be a Capricorn does, but someone here is possibly going to try to come in also and entice you with trying to spend time with you, offering you a gift or something. This person, though, they have already dug some type of hole for themselves elsewhere. OK. They see that you are happy, you're victorious, you're successful. This person is already out in the cold somewhere, possibly dealing with some type of financial issues or whatever. Yeah, this person wants to come out of the cold and get something started with you so that you can help them to have some type of breakthrough because something in their life has backfired. Five of Wands. Yeah, this person is facing judgment now. They're facing judgment and it's obvious that with the Nine of Cups, you're happy, you're on the good side of karma. And people who have done certain things to you, they're not. Okay. So go ahead and close this door so that a new door can open for you. You are, you're going to have to have the strength to put an end to something once and for all, because it's just not for your greatest and highest good. It's just, it's not two of swords constantly being stuck at a, at a, at a crossroads in this stalemate situation. Spirit is saying you're protected, but you're going to have to also stand up for yourself and move away from this. This King of Pentacles here, King of Pentacles, a tower and the Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you, there there is something or someone coming in that's really good for you. But because of what you have happening around you and the type of situations that are being presented to you from your past, it, it triggers you. The King of Pentacles is here with the tower and the Knight of Cups. So someone could have heavy... Um, Earth and, and maybe Scorpio energy in their chart. This person could be... Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but this is someone here who is pretty stable. They're a provider. I feel like this person just may shockingly decide to come in with an offer. Okay. The nine of swords, the queen of pentacles and the four of wands. So some of you right now, you may be stressed out about other things happening in your life. And it, it feels like some of you, you need to just go ahead and take a break from something. You know, how people say you, you find something great for you when you least expect it or when you stop looking it's almost like if you just decide to just say forget everything and you go out you could possibly meet someone that is your match or someone that you yeah the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles is here for some of you this is a it's a soulmate it's a life partner it's a divine counterpart someone that you can celebrate with okay you'll meet this but it's interesting too how spirit just had me to change the car you have someone here that's very childish that's going to want to come in with some type of love offer of some sort. This is something that can easily put um, a major like crack in your foundation. Or it's already a crack foundation with this person and they're going to try to rush in with some type of offer or some type of communication. This is only going to stress you out. And the reason why this is coming is because you already have this four ones with this king and queen of pentacles. These two people, they can be in a relationship. They can be business partners. This is mom and dad. 
So because you have a, a real life partner and something good coming in, you have this energy that's lurking that wants to quickly come in. This is someone here who wants a, a time away from someone that they're unhappy with for the holidays that they're probably going through all types of legal situations with. They want to come towards you with a small offer, possibly some type of small gift to get you hooked into a situation that you know is over and done with. So that you can miss an opportunity or feel bad because you are actually the empress. You're about to be chosen by someone that will see you as the ultimate wish fulfillment. Someone that will give to, give to you equally. Going towards a reciprocal relationship. So there's a test here with some type of karmic energy that you're needing to release and let go of. Okay, like I said, for some people, it's a romantic situation. For some, it's someone that you co-parent with. For some, it's a job situation with a boss. That's trying to just, you know, do something to put a dampen on your plans. For some, it, it could be family members. You know, those people, they, they start arguments with you or, or whatever, right when you're about to go out and enjoy yourself. You know, it's just, go it's goofiness, really. You know, and these people, some of them, they know what they're doing. Some of them, they don't. But it doesn't matter if they know what they're doing or, or not. You know what you need to do, right? Message of concern. Thoughts. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to send you a message. Hey, I'm thinking about you. Mm. They're thinking about you toiling, toiling labor is here. This person is, is, you know, probably going to send you a message and say that, that you're on their mind, that they're thinking about you and they've been work, really working on making changes in their life. And, you know, yeah, what did I tell you? This person has some type of legal situation going on. They could be going through a divorce or some type of custody battle or child support situation or something this person here is with a false person they have come to their realization that they're they are in a connection with a false person that is taking them on a journey to hell or jail they're in bad health so now this person is going to try and reach out to you and say hey you've been on my mind you know, let's get together. Let's have a drink. What are you doing for New Year's or whatever? Don't take the bait. Please don't take the bait here. Do not because you're already working on your security and stability. This is what you've been working on. If you know that you want a, you know, a family, you're trying to heal things in your family. You're the designated person to break those generational curses and whatever. You really have to separate yourself from whatever this karmic situation is because you have a courtship that's coming in that's going to bring you great fortune. You do have unexpected income coming in. This could be from a job, but also for some of you, you are going to meet someone who is really about their business. Wealthy, that doesn't always mean... Um, Someone's finances, someone spiritually wealthy, someone who is an old wise soul, they can teach you things. You know, knowledge is truly power. When you have knowledge, you can always become wealthy. And this is something, this is someone who will probably be presented to you unexpectedly. For some of you, it could be someone coming back that you want, you cross paths with. I'm not talking about someone that you were in a relationship with that it was toxic, but I'm saying you're going to connect with someone fairly soon. This is going to be a really good match for you. But you have someone here that's constantly saying that they always do this. So you can easily think back, you guys, about who always comes into your life around Mercury retrograde, especially with the same old story, the, the same text or the same phone call, you know, birthdays, holidays or whatever. Oh, I'm thinking about you. This person is going through something right now. And then you have, yeah, this person is in a in a dead end situation with a false person and this has this person in bad health their finances could be in bad health this other person that they're with could be in bad health someone here could be pregnant and could be going through a, having a, a, a not so great pregnancy right now someone here is just in a situation where they're unhappy and you're gonna have to stop being this person's fallback plan you know everybody likes to oh twin flame let me this this is putting a, a dampen on your entire life move forward because this is somebody playing games this person is trying to present themselves to you like they've changed they really haven't even if they have changed and, and let me make this even if this person has changed their own character because of everything that they've done and who they are attached to it's still very difficult for you to get something off the ground with this person because they have this other person that's still in their energy. This is that same storyline that has been coming up for as long as you've probably watched Tarot. Somebody here who refuses 
to walk away from something or someone from the past, most likely someone that they have children with who is a false person, but they still want to come in and be in your life. For some of you, this person, they may have money and they feel like they can manage a household with one another person and they can try to do something with you as well. Don't be tempted by this person's gifts. This person will come in and tell you that they'll buy you something or they'll take you on a trip. They'll treat you like it's just them, but this is the type of person you're only with them when you're with them. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you're with them when you're with them. When they're not with you, they're with this false person in this dead end situation. Yeah, look, I just cut the deck. Six of Cups, the Emperor. So this is this is a masking for a lot of you from the past. Facing judgment, okay, <laughs> facing karma that's going to double, they want to come back. Four of swords here. I feel like this situation has already caused you enough mental conflict, a bit of depression, and you're finally coming out of that. The three of cups, yeah, do not be held back by your past. Eight of swords, six of cups. Mm -mm. This doesn't look good to me. Yeah, because for one, a lot of you too, you're about to get confirmation of a really big blessing here. Like I said, for some of you, it's a job. Maybe you're about to buy, make a, a large um, ticket purchase. You know, maybe you're moving into a new place. But it's something that you worked hard for. It's about to, I'm hearing it's about to mature. So I don't know if, if this, you know, is it, it's something you've invested in. It's, it's about to mature. You're about to get exactly what you wanted and some in this situation so of course new levels new devils you have the past rushing back in nine of wands you know and this person rushes in this person's coming in like hell on wheels they will instantly sabotage whatever this ace of pentacles is and that's what their goal is so whatever your the call of your destiny is is what you need to answer and you need to put this fast moving energy this hot and cold person put them on block because they don't mean you well this is somebody who, you know, they just, they do. They want to have their cake and eat it too. The queen of wands is here. And the moon. Yeah, you got a witch out here. This person is connected to someone who, you know, does things that, that they shouldn't do. Somebody here who does love spells, break up spells and whatever else. But the thing is, is that the the reason why this is being done is because of Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician. These people are possibly doing magic on your brand new beginning. A lot of magic, of course, on your finances, but this will not be stopped. It won't be blocked if you do not entertain it. You have angels all around you protecting you so that you can move forward, but you have to have that tunnel vision to turn this wheel for yourself. I don't care how much in your head you are about this person or this situation that you know has been stressing you out for the last eight or nine months or years for some of you with this person who moves very slowly. You need to let it go. Put that sword up. You already know the truth. You know the truth here. This person is facing judgment. Receiving karma and you're receiving yours and it's good. It's victory. It's success. Rewards. Recognition. You've moved away from all of this conflict, the chaos, and the drama. You're, you're, you're beyond that. This has made you a true healer, a star. You're authentic. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. I tell you guys, you know, it's, it's one thing to constantly pray and speak about manifestation, but you can't keep entertaining the devil, Right? You guys are definitely having some type of um, breakthrough, I feel, when it comes to, for sure, like your finances. You're going to receive justice here. Someone could have possibly been trying to monitor you closely to cause you to have, you know, lack or some type of endings, but you're still going to have wish fulfillment. But you cannot accept this offer from this devil from your past. You can't do it. This is your biggest test. Why? Look at this. King of Cups here. You have a devil from your past. Like I said, this is someone here. This King of Pentacles. It has something to do with their money. This person could be very superficial. Okay. They want to come in and, and offer you money in exchange for something. But you have someone here who wants to come in and offer you love. And they want to give you equal give and take. Yeah. Don't hold on to anything that's confusing. You're going to have to cut through that yourself. The three of cups. Yep. God won't send something to you with the, the spirit of confusion attached to it. 
I say that this comes up all the time. I always say this person, like I said, they, they skate in like hell on wheels to try and sabotage something in your life. And it keeps coming in because you guys, you haven't made peace with the fact that this is something that you really have to put an end to. Okay. You, you saw the cards here. You have something brand new already in your life or entering your life. That's good. It's, it brings you stability. You can be emotionally safe in this situation. You guys, you have someone, they could be, you know, changing from your past. They could be changing because karma is, is beating them down. They could be making changes, but I tell you what, their wife or their baby mama ain't going nowhere. So even if this person does not create hell for you, whoever they are connected to will for it, they will make it their mission in life to make your life a living hell. So you have to decide if you want to deal with that or not.